Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back again with Transport Fever Peninsula uh, where we're in the new development area in Rapture uh, where last time around I, I hemorrhaged cash at the area quite significantly to try and smooth it out a little uh, but I did end up building this, this station complex that we've got going on here if we just do a quick whip around uh, you'll see there's the, uh, there's the port here's our first steamer coming in it's obviously empty because it hasn't stopped anywhere else yet and there's the other one Oh, if those pay off, it will be absolutely brilliant. But uh, the likelihood that they pay off is is absolutely zero. So I'm not too not too fussed about that at all. Um, arguably, I have a tougher time making transport for passengers over the water more difficult. What? I have a tougher time, yes, with passenger shipping, very good, than I do with aircraft. And aircraft are tough enough anyway. Um, but what are we doing today? Well, I advertised it beforehand, so you should know already. But here we go anyway. Uh, we're going to be running this rail route up to Elmore. We've done it before. It's not easy. And there's going to be some bulldozing involved in that. Do stick around, won't you? Okay, now, I mean, we only just built this lot, but I'm going to be bulldozing it immediately because we're, we're, going, to be, uh, we're going to be heading up that way. And uh, oh, anyway, it would be really nice to stick a bridge that goes across there. Okay, well, it, there's an aspiration, and, uh, and that's always, it's always good to put a flag in the ground right at the beginning of the show, and uh, that way we can work from that. I'm not sure if those people had just moved in or not and go... Let's, let's grab the uh, the prime time of this new development while uh, while it's still cheap. Yeah, I know that was expensive that I just removed without batting an eyelid. Get used to it. It's happening a lot today. Uh, we're going to need to uh, well, we're going to need to monkey with this elevation, aren't we? So uh, let's let's get rid of all of that. I'm still not thrilled about this bridge. It kind of works, but I'm not thrilled. Uh, right, let's let's do that now. Then let's let's wang these tracks up here. Uh, do we want a little bit of gentle upward uh, upward necessity here, or, or uh, no? We we really don't. I mean, we are going to have to go uphill to reach Elmore, but I don't want to do it now. How much are you going to cost me to? Yeah, I'm actually going to pay the price for that because. Uh, I am going to uh, to flatten out more of this kind of rapture build area over time, and therefore anything that will help me gouge it to the right kind of elevation is going to be jolly useful. So if we smooth that out there, good. Right, let's have a quick look at the slush fund and see how much we've got available. We've got 13 million available in loan. I've got a million and a bit in the bank. And if I could be bothered, well, no, you can be bothered. That's a really bad way to word it. Uh, if if you were to apply yourself and reconnect this now, then uh, then you could keep the thing running so you'll have increased cash coming in. Have you even slightly thought about how you're going to connect this up again? No. Okay, right. Well, you could have it just backing on itself for now. Have you broken that route? I don't think I have. We haven't got a route warning going on. But then you haven't unpaused it lately. Oh, no. No, no, no. It seems to be working. Uh, e uh, mm. uh, what? A? I don't know. It's because it can't get round there, you see. I would have thought it would go round to the bottom and then do a quick turn. Let's see if it fancies doing that. If we stick this down the bottom here and uh, keep it on the same elevation... You know, we'll, we'll work to the we'll work to our agenda here and and see if that it, it, are you even going to? Hold on, if we do a bit of that, and then uh, and then maybe a bit, a bit no, you, you I think you're living in a fantasy world there, son. Uh, right, do that. That's horrible. Yeah, I know. We just want to we just want to be able to unpause. That way, we'll have fresh cash coming in while we build. Uh, has that fixed it? Nah, it's not. No. All right, well, look, it'll work itself out. Unpause and let it roll. There you are. It's got a passenger on board. Crikey. I hadn't anticipated that. Now then, how much do we think this is going to cost? I'm going to go with 10 million quid, in which case I'm going to have to change my plans. Oh, it's not even... It's only a quarter of a million. I shouldn't sound disappointed, should I? No. It's, I mean, it's going to be more than that, obviously, when I use a decent building material. Uh, have we not got the red girders? We don't have the red girders. Interesting. Uh, someone in the comments was requesting red girders a couple of episodes ago. 
uh, and uh, I'm nothing if not compliant when it comes to occasional requests. No, I think we'll I think we'll go with the jolly green there, and, uh, and that'll be good. I do need to stick a a cross over here somewhere. Uh, well, get on with it then. All right, hold on. Uh, let's do a bit of that. Yep, and then a bit of this. There you go. Right. Okay. Happy. Yep. Carry on. Okay. Now then, Elmore. It's a lot uphill. Uh, that's that's for sure. Now, if I take the direct route here, we'll we'll just see if. It will do it in one go without having to put in loops and flips and twists in order to, uh, to, to sort the elevation out. And there. Right. Terrain alignment collision is to be expected. Uh, 5.36 million. Okay. And yeah, that's a bit of roller coaster going on there. I mean, it's not, it's not uh, unnecessary, shall I say, uh, but equally... That's awful. Okay, right. And it's going to be pretty much steep uphill the entire way. Maybe uh, this wasn't the plan. Yeah, I know. But, but you know, sometimes you have to adapt your plans because the original plan is bobbins. Okay, all right, hold on. Wait, hold on. We'll have a, we'll have a think here. Now, if I can work Elmore down to Zion... Yes. Well, it's already got to do a, a loop back on itself to get round. Then maybe there is an opportunity to Zion out to Rapture, which is a far easier run. Um, and then we use the second side of the track there rather than going direct to Rapture. Instead, that can go to somewhere more far flung. So it could go Alpha Complex. Maybe we could go to Raccoon City. Would you do both? So would you go Alpha Complex, then Raccoon City, or would you have your interchange at Raccoon? Doesn't really matter. It's it's broadly the same kind of idea. Um, mm. Well, okay. Well, look, you tried one. Try the other one. So if we want to come round here, all right, let's 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 have a look at that, for starters. So we've gone underground a bit to, to get us going, but we need to to get under the factory. You're not going to bend any tighter than that, though, are you? So you're going to need a bit of bridge work to do that. Yeah. Well, no, hold on. You can. You could do this. There you go. Something like that. Yeah. And then, what? Continue this way, all the while decreasing in altitude before coming back down uh, either over, ooh, over the gully and then coming into a station in the middle here somewhere. You know, this is going to add an awful lot of expense to this very, very, very simple route thing that you're building. Yeah, okay. All right, well, that's that's an option. Here, let's do another option, shall we? Um, we're going to do that at some point anyway. I want to connect up uh, Elmore to Zion, so so that's that's going to happen. Um, but we'll uh, we'll we'll see how that how that transpires. Right. So, what if instead we come around the side this way? Hold on. Right. We want to maintain speed with a gentle downhill slope. Uh, yeah. Bearing in mind... Oh, hold on. This would also then be able to be used for a sp for a sprint out that way. Yeah, that could that could work. And and then what? Do a really gentle curve all the while uh, dropping in height that comes around like this. So it's not an efficient route, but it is. It's actually serving multiple purposes. Okay. All right. Well, I think you might have settled on this, haven't you? I think I might have. Yes. All right. Jolly green it, and then is there is there any advance on what you've just built? No, I like that. I think that's good. All right. Take it. We're underway. Okay. Yeah, we might. This is probably going to be a bit of trial and error on this route. You know, I think we we may have to uh, have to change plans as we go, but uh, that's normal. Right, keep coming down. Now, what's that? Sixty-five. No, we're going to max it to seventy-five, and then we know that when high-speed lines come in, it's probably not going to be as quick as we'd like. But so far, that's looking okay. Now this. This little mountain road here. Oh dear, it seems to have, seems to have collapsed under some heavy weather. Uh, right, keep coming around. Yeah, there's the inevitable bridge. How how bridgy is it? Oh, it's really bridgy. Okay, all right. Well, what about coming through the middle? 
uh, you, you've lost you've lost sight on on where you're going there exactly it, because it's distance that I need more than anything else is the uh, the amount of distance we cover here is going to impact how steeply we have to go downhill I don't think we can avoid at least one section of extremely steep the solution of course is just to helix it and then straight line bosh no problem at all most of most of the uh, most of the the heavy grunt work is done and uh, and while I'm certainly not one to shy away from using helices, uh, we do, I don't want to use them extensively. In fact, have I even done one yet this series? Not that I recall. That's a lot of bridge. It is a lot of bridge. You've got a bit of hill there that if you were to go for the bit of hill, you wouldn't have to use nothing but bridge. Yeah, but you are now, you are very much out of track space. So you will probably end up having to helix under here, what, like this, something like that. Yeah, to then cross over and go that way. That is a bananas route. Yeah, it is. Um, well, we've got all this. Uh, the, the track that I've built, I, as far as here, definitely. Here, possibly. I'm uh, I'm quite happy with the track that we've got built here. So so even if I do end up not pursuing this course of action, he how far off are we? I'm going to eyeball it. We're, uh, we've got a ways to go yet. And if I were to go as the crow flies here, then you would have two 90 degree corners to swoop in. So that means 30 to 40 mile per hour corners. Which is not, not, it's not good. All right, well, if you do a helix, you're going to have to do 30 to 40 mile per hour corners, aren't you? Yeah. How much bridge have we got there? That's, that's an acceptable amount of bridge. What is, what I'm less pleased about is that it's steep downhill, and I don't like doing steep downhill uh, for, well, for multiple reasons, really. I, is, I mean, firstly, uh, it means that getting back up the hill is a complete pain. And then secondly... It doesn't. It doesn't look great. Uh, right. Are you going to experiment with this, or are you going to invest heavily from the get-go? Let's uh, let's keep it cheap. I'm going to use the rubbish bridge, and we'll uh, we'll upgrade it if uh, if this works. And onto there. Okay. Right. So that's that's what we're talking about. So you've got real slow all the way. Now that's no, yeah, it's not a deal breaker, but it's just not very good. Um, oh, what are we gonna do? I don't think this route will work. I don't think that a direct route here, unless you go steep uphill with an enormous ruddy bridge the entire way, I can't see how you're gonna do this any better. Um, now, I mean, there are ways you could do it that use fewer bridges. I actually quite like this second one. This this one's really nice. Um, but the the loss of speed is horrendous. In fact, I quite like all of this. I think it's quite scenic. Okay. Yeah, this is going to suit a nice little uh, a nice little electric number. Yeah, if you say so. I do say so. Right. Okay. Well, bulldoze that back again. I mean, you you could use that bridge. You don't need anything with a higher uh, a higher speed because you ain't going higher speed there, friend. Yes. Now, the reason that I've come out here, you were here, I said, I, I spoke it with my mind, is uh, uh, the, we're coming out here because this avoids us having to use quite so much bridge because we can, we can collide with the top of this little bit of hill. Oh, the Daimler's available. I've only just upgraded everything to max. Right, what if we take this, like, well tight... Can we get away? Actually, this is the well. You, uh, the ideal here is to go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're missing the obvious. That's not the station. That's a bridge. Oh, that's a really nice bridge. Doesn't matter. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, I know. I know. I like it. You like it. Everybody likes the look of that bridge. But we can ease this by not using that bit of bridge and instead uh, bulldozing the hell out of the town. Right, let's have a look and see what that looks like. You've got a bit more bridge, but again, that's at an acceptable height. Uh, let's put a, a, a no-speed restriction bridge on there. 
Are you, can you tell me how much? Oh, you see, look, that's that's a bit more, a bit more speed you've got going on. And then with the, if we do that, oh, you could get an awful lot of stuff under there. This is this is a bit more viaducty, if you ask me. And then with this one, uh, tell this one to be green. We're not going to be able to place it now anyway. I'm going to have to do some uh, some remodeling. And then straight into there like that. Where it's got a terrain alignment collision. So we, we're going to want to place that in first. Okay, right. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Right, so I want to land about there heading, let's say, gently uphill. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, hey let's go. All right. Over here gently uphill that is what it has built we could go steeply uphill since this is a station approach oh careful though there is i mean all right yeah i'll allow it which which manner of jolly green do you like i think i like to say i like uh, i like them all uh, no the, that one the slightly more chunky slightly greener one versus the uh, the more subdued with the safety railing. I think we'll go more subdued with the safety railing. Okay, right. So well, we've well, let's remodel the approach. I rather like that, but uh, you know you can't you can't have it all. I'll tell you something else. When we do build round from Zion, we could come in on that way and merge just out the other side of this this uh, body of water, which might look rather nice. Okay, so we now go. Hang on, you've you've bent round a little bit too much. Uh, don't think about it too hard. Thank you. Right, there we go. I don't know why the game is pondering so much. We're going to need to pause here. Uh, and that's that's going to leave me even, even more in the dark as far as what's going on. Because this lot is going to need to get out of the way. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Expensive, certainly. But, you know, this is the cost of doing business. All right, let's, uh, let's wang that straight onto there. Now, you might go, well, that's a, that's a lot of bridge. Does that not violate your bridge code of conduct? I kind of go, it does a bit, but it also means that I can thread the town underneath this bridge and it's going to look really quite, uh, it's going to look quite something, I think. Okay. Well, look, it's, it's a, a lot of bridge is going to be needed anyway. I'm not, I'm not justifying it so much. Uh, rather than justifying it just to you, I'm justifying it just to myself as well. Uh, do we or don't we like it? I think I do like it, you know. I think this is quite, I think it's quite snazzy. And we only sl slow to 59. All right, let's take it. There you go. Let's get that over and done with. And then... Uh, any leftover cash after buying a suitable train. And I think uh, I'm going to look at the crocodile for this. Or, oh, no, maybe the Milwaukee. Um, uh, because the uh, the firepower you get from an electric is uh, is going to be is going to be jolly helpful. And you're connecting up the wrong side of the track there. So let's do this now. I'm going to double track it immediately. Why are you not electrifying as you go? Because I might not need to electrify, and therefore I'll electrify some more in a bit. We'll, we'll go back and do it again. Uh, but once this is double-tracked, then uh, then it is. And there's lots of little peekaboo moments, and you know I love a good peekaboo moment from my train track. Uh, that's that's all solid. This is not a cheap bit of double-trackage, though, is it? Right. And then you'll discover to your horror that you've actually done the other side. I already knew I'd done that. Uh, well, where are you going to do it after you finish the bridge? All right, so get round to there. Right, and then uh, and then gank this bit. Oh, you could have chosen a cheaper bit. Yeah, I could have, but I didn't. So shush. Uh, right, and then make this work like that. Oh, dearie me. All right. Yeah, it's got a kink in it. So what? Wouldn't be the first time I'd built a kinky bridge. And uh, and also, it goes along ley lines. So it's lucky and may lead to uh, benefits as far as uh, water divination is concerned. There you go. That's that's the, the only justification you need there. All right. Okay. That's, that's worked. That's... I like it. Yeah, I, it's not the same uh, style that I used last time, that's for sure. 
when I say every time I say last time, you can mean you know you can infer that it's uh, last time we uh, we tackled this map. You can't get under there. You can get under there. You're just going to need to take a slightly better angle. There you go. Something like that. All right, and then swoop. There you go. Marvelous. Has that fixed it? One still broken. Uh, which one's that then? It's probably Elmore. Okay. Uh, I'll go and have a look in a moment. Oh no, it's it's probably the one where you just bull <laughs> you probably just bulldoze the passenger stop. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Now then, give me give me some give me some give me some bus station. Yeah, we'll do it here. Yeah. Instead of that dinky little stop that we had before, we'll we'll put a proper bus station in there. Is that everything fixed? That's everything fixed. Uh, Unpause. And then we'll go have a look at the other end. Just a second. No, I didn't have to do anything to Elmore. We went straight under the under the the existing infrastructure. Oh, that's quite. Yeah, it is. It's not the most obvious. Uh, it's not as the crow would fly unless the crow was very much inebriated. Uh, but uh, you know, it's yeah. You know, it, it it has it has some merits to it, I'm sure, and it will have more merits to it if it works. Right, let's electrify this. I'm just going to go point to point with this one, and uh, and we'll see how we go, because the uh, the existing rail stuff that we've got comes into the other track, so this will be effectively an interchange uh, for those who wish to change into something else. Uh, I'm going to need points at both ends. I think I did one. I don't think I've done both. But yeah, we'll we'll stick something powerful and electric on here. What, like a food mixer? Yeah, that that's exactly what I mean. You clown. Right, uh, to bang that on there, bang I want some of this and a bit of that as well. And that's us all hooked up. And people are already going to be excited. Flip the whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the developments. People have moved in. Oh, bless you. And all of your cotton socks. Uh, what manner? Are, are they commercial or are they... Uh, yeah, they're all commercial. Tremendous. Yeah, and you see how much cash I had left? I've got cash left. Oh, this is great. Uh, this leaves a little bit... This leaves enough left over that I can do some more remodeling on Rapture as a whole to see if I can't turn this into something properly, properly awesome. Uh, I want to fix this road station. As soon as I get high-density road stations, I'll do that as well. Um, okay, now then. Will you allow me to escort you to the summer dance? What? No, no, I just want to do that. If you'll diamond, that'll be great, but I don't expect you to do it. Oh, it always does it when you don't expect it to do it. Uh, right, let's bang a route in here and see what we can... Uh, what we can conjure. Uh, I've just, I've, I've just this moment realised something. You'll realise it in a minute, okay? If you haven't realised it already, and it's probably, you probably have, uh, but uh, there is something that you'll realise. And, uh, you there? You got it? Have you realised it? I'm sure you have. Okay, well, look, I'm going to fill you in anyway, for those of you who haven't realised it, is uh, I need a depot to put a train on. And you're going to go, well, fine, you've got a depot to run that big... Oh, but that depot's not for electricity, and neither is the rest of the line. Very good. Well done. It's, uh, it's you know, it's, it's impressive that you spotted that without me having to intervene. Um, yeah, there you are. Oh, that's, that's all looking lovely. Why are we doing signalling? Uh, to delay the point where I have to figure out where the heck I'm putting a depot. Okay. You know what would work great on this line is, is tiny little electric numbers that, you know, have got lots and lots of grunt, but maybe not so much top speed. Yeah, well, you can dream on, because we ain't got any of those available. You might be able to run some little diesel bandits up and down here. I don't want to, though, because the little diesel bandits are ugly as sin. Um, really, that's, that's, that's quite strong. Kind of, yeah, and it's also quite subjective. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. All right, okay, right. You've got signaling, you've got points. Congratulations, well done. Uh, did we have a naming convention for this stuff? Well, look at it. Oh, no, that one's called the Ironlands. Oh, in this case, we'll call this the Rapture Runner. Yeah, see how you like that, Rapture Runner. Although it's, it's going to be more like the Rapture Weezer, given that it's pretty much all uphill. Um, all right, okay, how are you going to do that then? 
well, I'm going to have to build a depot somewhere. All right. And you'd want to do this on a bit of cheap land, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, the cheapest... St <laughs> There's nowhere cheap for you to do this, Tiger. Uh, what if you were to just swing off here with a temp... This is awful. Uh, swing off here with a, for a bit of a temporary placement. Yeah. Well, at least make it so that you can you can slip the junction. All right. Okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work either. Oh, hold on. No, we'll use the magic points. Okay. Cheating. Uh, but uh, needs must. Look, would you rather I fished out the ideal place for a uh, for a depot here or cheated and got it done now? Right. And it's not cheating. I still had to pay for everything. Uh, okay. Right. What are we going to run here? Electric. I don't know how much choice we've got. Two. The Milwaukee, which is a lot. And it's fast. And it's probably going to be better for really big trains. Or the Croc, which only does 47. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, and it's, I mean, it's ideally suited for, for you know, proper, proper freight stuff. All right, what about a multi-unit? That's from the future. You can't have something from the future. We haven't got any diesel multi We haven't got any diesel multi-units. You sure? If we've not got, like, the Red Arrow or the... The, the dingly dingly dangly no you haven't you've got articulated coaches oh do they are they self-powered i'm not seeing a power unit on there i think that just might be a set of of pre-connected units no we haven't got anything it's i think we'll go crocodile right here's my justification for that is it's cheap all right i'm not going to go for milwaukee just yet they're both freight trains, strictly speaking. And Milwaukee's probably better suited to passengers given its higher speed capability. Uh, but right now, uh, I just want to get it rolling and then we'll see where we get to. Now then, you, you should probably be using the Donnerbush here. We only need to go 47. So, I don't know, what else have we got? Uh, these heavyweights there, I mean, firstly, they're heavy. Clues in the title. You know what, I might use these Russians. Because their top speed ain't all that, right? And the running cost isn't too much, and they can take 12 passengers. How does that compare running cost-wise? 70 grand versus 112. Yeah. No, we'll go with the Russians. Uh, any advance? Anyone who want to suggest otherwise? Well, you've got the Austrians. I'm already using the Austrians elsewhere, though. That's, that's the thing. Well, you, what about the double-decker? That's just madness incorporated. Take a heck of a lot of passengers, though, don't they? You could just stick three of those on the back of a crocodile and it'll look properly insane. It's very expensive. And? All right, I'm going to do it. I don't see another time that I'm going to be using them. So we'll uh, we'll put these three hen houses on the back of the uh, on the back of the crocodile and, and see what happens. Uh, the Rapture Runner. All right, appearing out of thin air. Everyone look away. For, we don't want to break the immersion too much. There you are. That's... Avert your, avert your gaze for what is occurring right now is rude and should not be permitted. And uh, we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be resuming proper service in a moment. What does that take us down to? Uh, okay, the money's not too horrible. Given how much I've been spending it. Right, there we go. Uh, right, let's do a follow along, shall we? Well, there we go. That's what I've built. It's not what you were expecting. It's, uh, yeah, I'll be honest, it's not what I was expecting either, but... Uh, it's not without its but I do like a crocodile. There's just so there's something just very utilitarian about them, uh, and I, I I approve of that. I, I was I was about to remark on how the views are amazing, but that's not news, because the views are amazing. We know that we've seen the views an awful lot, and they are indeed amazing. Right? Do we want to ride in? We can do, but I'll be honest with you. Tunnels are not great as far as viewing angles are concerned, are they? I mean, they're adequate, I suppose, but we're on the wrong side of the track. Okay. Well, maybe maybe you'll sort yourself out. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe you will sort yourself out. But at the same time, maybe you won't sort yourself out. I'll jump off, and then we'll go find a peekaboo mode. There we go. We should have one coming up here. Maybe you'll sort yourself out. In fact, let's have a look. Yeah, you, you'll sort yourself out after you've been into the platform at the other end. You totally wrecked what would have been quite a nice shot there. 
Uh, okay, well, look, we'll, we'll do another one. There you go, we'll come out here. The shot's not as good. Yes, it is. Yeah, the shot is good, you're right. Uh, okay, well, I don't know how fast it's going. Tell me. 47, top speed. That's how fast it's going. All right. We've got a 90 passenger capacity, which is pretty good going. Uh, anybody interested yet? Not as such, no. But they will be. As soon as they hear that they could, they could travel around in a shed, they're going to be all over this. They're going to be well into it. What have we got here? We've got some exciting looking chemical cars. Uh, there's the A3. That's always good for a laugh. A couple more Great Westerns. Obviously, the Austrians are present. You can't move without Austrians kind of slinging themselves at you, going, oh, I'm Austrian! And you're going, yeah, 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 all right. Uh, right, there you go. That's going to wrap it up for today. Let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, let's have a quick look at what the turnaround time is on this train. Uh, train. There we go. And the Rapture Runner, eight minutes. Fine. No problem at all. Uh, we can easily absorb the running cost for an eight-minute turnaround train. It will start to make some money as soon as people get the notion that they might want to go to Rapture. And that's the real problem, is that uh, at the moment, nobody really wants to go to Rapture because there's nothing there. Uh, but that's what I'm going to start working on. I'm going to start putting something in Rapture. I'm going to win Rapture, the people of Rapture. So we've got one person who wants to ride on it. Well, that's worth it then, isn't it? I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back soon. And in the next episode, uh, I think a second uh, passenger water route would be jolly good fun, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be jolly good? Yes, it would. Uh, would be jolly good fun. City 17 is calling to me, you know. City 17, I think, if I were to, if I were to snake in a passenger harbour here... Uh, because we, we're going to need to run a train line through here at some point. I've got no idea. Uh, and that's going to involve a couple of straight lines and a bulldozer. Uh, so we could put a passenger port there. Yes. Or here. Yes. All right. Well, we've got options. Um, I might do that. I might not. Equally, Zion is uh, is available and possibly open for business. So So one of those will do. Uh, I'll leave you staring at a piece of bridge with some traffic going underneath it and a train about to go over the top. Wait, 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 wait. And uh, right about here. Groovy. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio! Okay, so there's part two in your rapture cycle, and uh, and we're dealing with severe elevation. I mean, it's, it's a tricky one. Uh, there is only a certain amount of speed that you can go straight line down a hill. And uh, you, you've got a. You, there's always a compromise to be made. Do you get all of the uh, the descent done in one area and, and helix your way around until you you're at the right kind of height, uh, or do you you space it out across the way and hope that your locomotive is then up to the task of hoiking whatever train it is that you've got across the across the map? So it, there's there's no easy way to do it. Um, uh, helices certainly have their place, uh, and and I use them. I, I quite readily use them because I think they're kind of cool when well executed. Anyway, they're, they're kind of cool. You can have them in a bit of a wonky angle; it doesn't look quite as good. But but when it emerges underneath the original one, having gone up through a tunnel, that's that's all kind of good. Um, so yeah, I think this one's going to work out. It's now just a question of like you know, is the is the train the right one and all of that kind of stuff. I suppose we will find out, won't we?